Well, there is no doubt about it. Boston is a really changing city here in the 21st century. And one of the changes, the closing of an institution, the top of the hub uh, at the top of the Prudential Center, Dan Andelman from the Phantom Gourmet joining me now to talk about this. This is one of those places that always seemed like it was always there. It is, Paul, and I think we're in one of these modes now where I think you're seeing this sort of similar story play out time and time and time again with these venerable restaurants and their institutions, whether it's the local pub or it's a, a place that's, you know, an anniversary or a proposal place sure. like Top of the Hub. When it happens this consistently, I don't think we should all be that surprised by it anymore yeah. um, because you're right, Boston is a dynamic place. There's a lot happening, yeah. uh, especially in the world of food and restaurants and real estate. That's where these right. things all come together and that's what happens. For years and years, it was Top of the Hub, Maison Robert, Lockover, those were the old names. Yes. Now those three are gone, and this does have a lot to do with real estate prices. Uh, of course, it's a, it's a huge part of it. It's a big part of the restaurant business that's sort of underappreciated. Mm -hmm. Usually these, the, the similar story that you hear from all these places that are going out is the building's getting knocked down and they're building condos. Sure. I mean, that's really a sign of what's happening in Boston, yeah. and it doesn't necessarily go to this place doesn't have the same food they used to or the same drinks that they used to. Listen, Top of the Hub has been around forever. If you've been there, you remember it. If mm -hmm. people come from out of town, you would take them there. But, you know, I, I don't know if there's anybody that says, okay, I remember the filet mignon or lobster thermidor sure. I had there. A lot of people are not Instagramming their plate of food at Top of the Hub. Right. They're definitely Instagramming the view the from view. the Top of the Hub. What's gonna happen to it? I don't know. I mean, they're, they're saying that this does not have to do with rents going up. Mm. So I'm not exactly sure what's gonna happen, but I can't say I'm, I'm shocked by the news either. But I am sad for the people that work there. They've been around for a long time. Well, it is sad. You know there are a lot of staff members, wait staff, people behind the scenes. Yeah. But it does seem, as you say, the food scene in Boston Boston is exploding, yeah. surely those jobs will be found elsewhere. Well, that's the thing. The, the one thing we hear from restaurants across the board, especially in the city of Boston, is it is really hard to find good employees in those yeah. restaurants. So when they when places find good employees, whether it's in the kitchen or it's in the front of the house, to dishwashers, to anything, they really treat those employees well. So the ple people that have been working at Top of the Hub, some of them have been there 10, 20, 30 yeah. years. So if they still want to stay in the industry, I'm sure there are lots of <laughs> restaurants nearby that would love to have them. They will be scooped up. So we say it all the time, another and Nivenera, yep. Dan Nanoman from the Phantom Gourmet. Thanks. We still have time to get back for one more uh, martini, though. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>